Hello every single buddy. Today I figured I'd show you how to go about extracting sprites and textures from the GameCube games. And so we're going to be using Dolphin for this and a few people in my past videos, I think it might have been from the PlayStation 1 videos, went and asked um, how to go about doing the same thing for Dolphin or for GameCube games. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. And so for this whole tutorial, you're not going to need any other programs, you're not going to need to download anything other than the Dolphin emulator, um, the emulator that you use to play game uh, GameCube games, right? And specifically, the version that we're going to be using today is up here, and it's pretty much the newest version, I think, uh, at the time of recording. But I, I have a hunch that if you have Dolphin installed already, it probably will work, because I think this feature's been in Dolphin for a while. But yeah, with all that being said, with all that being said, I, I guess we'll get into it. And so the first thing you want to do is you want to enable texture dumping. And so basically the whole idea that we're going for is we want to play the game and then as the game plays Dolphin's going to pick up on all the textures that it sees and it's going to dump them into a folder and that's when we're going to be able to get sprites and textures and so to enable that we're going to go to graphics advanced and then we're going to enable texture dumping so by default it's going to look like this you just want to press enable and then ensure that both of these options are ticked and so again just to reiterate you want to go to graphics i think you can also get through it through going to options uh, and then graphics settings same thing basically and then you want to go down and just enable texture dumping and enable these two options once you've done that you can close it up and the next thing we need to do is figure out where these are going where these are uh, these files are going and to find it, you want to go to press the folder icon or just to get to your folders, right? Uh, go to documents, go to Dolphin Emulator, not Dolphin Master, or Dolphin Emulator, right? And then go to dump textures. And then right over here, if you've never done this before, if this is the first time you've turned on this option, um, this will be completely blank. But the whole idea is that through, as we're playing through this game, this will start to get filled in its own folder and it'll be given its own code to distinguish different games. So each game will now have its own folder for, de for dumping textures, right? And so, yeah, that's where we're going to find them. Now let's start to get them in the game. And so I'm going to be using Sonic Adventure Battle 2 for this example. It's a really good game, probably one of the best games on the GameCube. Um, and we're going to be using that one. And so as you can see here, I've already got a whole load of textures for this game. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete them real quick. Just so that so we can start from fresh. Or let's, let's actually do the smart thing and just, let's just delete the folder. That, that, that's the smart thing to do. Delete the folder. And uh, as you can see, it's quite hefty. So, you know, you might it might take up a bit of disk space um, depending on how far you've gone with this. If you've gone through the whole game, there's going to be a lot of PNGs. And the whole challenge of this whole thing is just kind of finding the one that you want. And, and again, for this method, you want to kind of have it in your mind what kind of texture you're going for since in order to get them you have to get to that part of the game right it'll make more sense in a second and so if i go to open just find your rom again i i can't i can't tell you where to find your roms um you know i, I don't know if i'm allowed to but you want to find your gamecube rom and then you want to double click it and then you want to start your emulation right and so yeah we're going to start this here I put it on mute just to uh, kind of, you know, make it so that the music doesn't overpower my voice. But yeah, even this right here is getting dumped. Uh, everything since you press play is now getting dumped. And this is the point where you want to kind of have in your head an idea of this is what I want, right? So just uh, make sure it's completely muted out. Cool. Okay, so let's say, for example, we wanted to get, let's say we wanted to get the intro icons. So if you didn't know it at the start of each game, you were, um, you get like an icon shown to you, shown which player you're playing as at the start of the game. And so we're going to go for, we're going to go for shadow, edgy shadow over here. I'm going to go onto Radical Highway. 
I'm just start this up and that's the icon we're looking for that one there and so yeah now that we've seen this in game it's been dumped so everything that you see has been dumped and so yeah that's pretty much it um even all this i want to bet will be dumped as well and so and so yeah now we've done that uh, we can back out of the emulation um cool yep cool and then again you just want to go to documents dolphin emulator um dump textures and then find the folder that it'll be on and if it's the first time doing this there'll only be one folder right and so yeah we'll double click onto here and this is where the challenge comes in is sorting through all these textures trying to find the one that you're looking for you know if you want to kind of make like a collection of these and then sort them out that way this is where the challenge comes in just going through these and trying to find which one you're looking for but as you can see even through this first stage that we were on just now you can see all the textures coming through and so and you can even this is quite interesting you can even see the map over here and so everything the game loads in the texture dumps right and so yeah let's keep a lookout for the icon we were talking about before let's see if we can find it uh, that's the intro icon which is pretty cool and this is the point where i wouldn't be able to find it right there it is so yeah here it is and yeah it's pretty much as simple as that it's got to be one of the most uh, easiest tutorials i've done i've done tutorials so it's way harder than this to get the textures but yeah that's pretty much all you need to do uh, one last thing i'll probably say before i end this video is that if you're interested in taking these sprites and then preserving them and having this so that other people can use the sprites that you preserve a great place to go and put them is the sprite is resource and so as you can see over here i've already done the stage cleared icon and right now i've got a pending submission for the stage icons i was talking about over here and basically the whole idea when you go and submit a sheet to any game you like it can be off gamecube or any other kind of console or pc whatever the case is is you want to kind of have a, a you know in your mind a, a a set of sprites a collection of them that would make up a certain segment of the game and so for this it would be the the technique points that you get where you get a combo going right and then you get all these uh, icons showing how good you did on that combo or how many you got that will constitute one um, another one some other guy did was all the themes of the main menu that you can have you know it's just thinking about ways you can split them up into different categories and different sections right um, and so yeah uh, what I did from there is I just threw it into Photoshop and then just kind of assembled them all and went and um, got it so it was presented nicely and then I uploaded it to the site and then I got them preserved and so yeah I just thought I'd mention that just in case anyone was wondering if there's anything you could do with them going from there then that, that's a cool thing that you can go and do but yeah that's pretty much that that's pretty much all i wanted to say and so thank you guys for watching um as always you know if you if you've got any issues with this if you've got any problems anything that it uh, didn't work out for you then let me know in the comments and i'll see what i can do but again thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe as usual and uh, and i'll see you in the next one